And now to a new twist in the Idaho College murder case. One of the surviving roommates has agreed to be interviewed by the suspect's lawyer. They say she has information that could help his case. ABC's Kina Whitworth has the story. This morning, a new twist in the Idaho murder case. The surviving roommate who fought a subpoena to testify now agreeing to be interviewed by suspect Brian Koberger's defense. Koberger charged with killing four of the survivor's friends at their home last November. The victims, Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin, murdered while two other roommates survived. Koberger's team claiming this survivor may be a material witness and could possibly provide exculpatory information to help his case. It'll be very interesting to see how much information the surviving roommate has, whether she saw something significant, whether she heard something significant that's going to contribute towards the defense in a meaningful way. Please be seated. According to the affidavit for Koberger's arrest, the other surviving roommate told police she heard crying during the early morning hours, opened the door and saw a masked man walking toward her before heading toward a sliding glass door. Well, that roommate saying the suspect had bushy eyebrows. This survivor on the first floor has never spoken publicly about what she witnessed. Koberger's team now claiming she told police things she heard and things she saw and could offer details that cannot be provided by another witness. They believe that there is information that is paramount to his defense that she may possess. This is a very big win for the defense. Now, she may not have the information that they believe her to have, so that may change the game as well. Also, the judge granting the prosecution's request to add two special assistant attorneys general to the team. They're all now prepping for this preliminary hearing at the end of June. Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles.